Hi there and welcome to another Light Rider Tips video. Today I want to talk to you about uh, the new online profile builder. Uh, you're probably aware that both Light Rider and My DMX Go were quite significantly updated recently uh, to use the new uh, Light Cloud and the online profile builder service, uh, which makes it much easier for us to create our own profiles, to share them with other people, and in fact to download profiles uh, from other sources, uh, amend them to better suit uh, the way we want them to work, um, and then to use them within, uh, within both Light Rider and My DMX Go. Now to get into uh, the new profile builder, you'll need, you'll need to log into your online LightCloud account. To, uh, for that, you need to just go to lightcloud.nicolaudigroup.com uh, and log in with your email address and password that you use to log into LightCloud when you start either LightRider or My DMX Go app on your kind of iPad or Android tablets. Uh, when you log in, uh, you'll eventually then end up in your uh, LightCloud account and you'll see that there are kind of four tabs on the left hand side. There's devices, there's profiles, files and then profile builder. I'm looking at profiles at the moment and this is showing me all the profiles uh, that I've created. Uh, if you have previously created profiles using the uh, older profile builder app, uh, then they will be uh, shown here. Uh, the old Profile Builder app isn't really supported anymore, so you can't uh, continue to use that. You will need to switch to using this new online Profile Builder. What I want to do today is to create um, a really simple profile uh, just to show you how to get started. Uh, so uh, to start with, I'm going to click uh, the little plus at the top of the screen to create a profile. Um, it will ask me if I want to create or upload. I will cover upload um, in a later video, uh, but for today I'm just going to create a new one um, and I'm going to need to choose a brand. So I'm going to, I'm going to have to select a brand from the list. I'm going to choose American DJ um, and then uh, you have to you also have to give it a name. So for this I'm going to call I'm going to create one uh, for the uh, element ADJ element uh, hex IP uh, and I'm going to click create. So this will take me into the, this is the online profile builder, this is the new profile builder. Uh, and uh, there are a few kind of key areas to point out. Uh, the first of the three kind of vertical panels, um, I'll cover those in a moment because those are where you define the actual channels that are used within profile. Um, there's also a little red indicator up here. This kind of tells you how you're getting on. Uh, this is a kind of a red, uh, amber green indicator. This is at the moment it's red um, saying there's one error in my profile and I already know what that error is. It's because there's nothing in it. Okay, so I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna worry about that uh, too much now, but it will become important later. And then over to the right, there are two tabs. Uh, one says properties and one says content. Um, I'm just going to take a quick look at properties because this includes some fairly important information about the profile in general. It talks about, so in, in here you can see the name, uh, it took uh, the, the person who created it, the date, etc. You can also choose the, uh, the fixture uh, type. This isn't overly important in here. Um, some of these things may become important um, as you create more complex profiles. But generally speaking, uh, most of these things aren't too important. I do tend to make sure that mine are, are kind of correct. Though. So I do choose the correct type of fixture here. Um, and I also uh, make sure that I've chosen the correct type of lamp. Um, if you do uh, have fixtures with um, MSD lamps in them, for example, it's worth making sure that this is correct because uh, Light Rider and My DMX Go uh, do make some changes to the way they work um, if they know that they're, they're using uh, profiles with MSD lamps as opposed to uh, LED. Um, uh, the rest of the things over here, not too important really. Um, I will in a later video come on to talk about this section of uh, beams because this will become important if you've got fixtures that have kind of multiple individual beams. Uh, so, uh, for example, a bars which may have eight individual LEDs uh, that you can that can uh, change colours independently. But for the moment, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it as it is and I'm gonna hop back into the content tab. So, uh, over to the left, you'll see there are there are uh, three tabs. There's uh, channel zero. Uh, there's a one, which is a mode, and then there's a plus button to add further channel modes. Now, uh, what we need to do here on the on the channel uh, 
tab is to define the types of channels that are used in all of the different channel modes uh, in our fixture. Now for this you're going to need the user guide for your lighting fixtures. Um, they're all different uh, and uh, you will have to take a look at uh, how the DMX uh, charts are set up and, to, and how each mode uh, uses different channel types. So for this I'm going to keep this really simple. Uh, so simple you're probably going to wonder uh, why I bothered, um, but it will actually show you um, a little bit about how to create fixtures from uh, fixture profiles from scratch. So the uh, so the element hex IP uh, um, has a red, a green, a blue, uh, uh, a white, an amber, and a UV uh, channel. Um, uh, for its six channel mode, for eight channel mode, it also has a, sh a dimmer and shutter and stroke. So I'm going to choose all of those uh, eight items and click Add Selection, and it pops them all in here. Okay, so so those are the types of uh, channels that are used within uh, this fixture. And what I need to do now is go to Channel Mode One and assign some of those channel types to this particular channel mode. So I'm going to do that nice and easy, click the plus, and for six channel mode for this fixture, it simply uses red, green, blue, white, amber, and UV. So I choose the six and I add selection. So my channel mode one has now got all six channel types associated with it. Um, there isn't anything else you really need to do with this There's, uh, because those channels are quite uh, quite straightforward. There's nothing else that you need to tell Profile Builder to make them work. And what I'm also going to do is create a second channel mode, and this is going to be an eight channel mode. Um, I have to click plus again, and, and this time I'm going to add all eight. So I've got red, green, blue, white, amber, UV, dimmer, and shutter and strobe. So if I click Add Selection now, it's going to add all eight. So just to show you the difference, channel mode one, which is six channel mode, has, has six in there. Channel mode two has eight. Now you'll notice now uh, that uh, there are two warning triangles against dimmer and shutter and strobe. Uh, and, our, and our little kind of traffic light indicator up here has gone from green to red. It's saying there are three errors in the profile. So I'm going to click that and just take a quick look and see what it says. And it says, so for errors, mode two, it says my dimmer channel is an empty channel and shutter and strobe is an empty channel and is missing a shutter open preset. Warnings are about the same. So it's really telling me the same thing. So I'm going to close that and uh, we'll take a quick look at the dimmer and the shutter and strobe. Now the dimmer channel on its own isn't quite enough information for this profile. Uh, we need to tell the dimmer channel about any possible kind of values or ranges that make up that dimmer channel. Um, and uh, if you look in your your user guide for your lighting fixtures, um, you'll see this information in there. Now, it's probably quite tempting to try and fix it in here, okay? But that's not really the best way of doing it. Um, because if you have a, a fixture which has multiple channel modes, whether it has kind of, maybe it has a six, eight, 10, 14, um, each of those individual channel modes probably has the same type of dimmer channel. So the best place to kind of try and sort these out in the first place is on this, in the first tab, uh, where we define the kind of, what's called the global values uh, for each of these types. So if I go to dimmer here, you'll see it's empty. Uh, the middle panel is empty. I'm gonna click plus, and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna keep this one uh, really simple. I'm gonna call this, uh, just. I'm just gonna choose dimmer, and you'll see it as it's at the bottom, I'm gonna click the little save icon, and it creates a range now. So, it, so this dimmer channel has a range of zero to 255. And if I click this, you'll see there's some information on the right-hand side, uh, which talks about, uh, again, this, this, this particular type. Um, it's got some, some various words over here. Um, I won't go into all the details now. Um, some of them are actually important, but the good news is the default values um, are good to go. So that's dimmer. Um, shutter and strobe, if you look in your user manual for your lighting fixtures, is often a bit more complicated. Uh, it often looks uh, like, uh, for example, you might have uh, a range of values which is open, followed by another range of values uh, which is uh, strobing, and then possibly another range of values which is open again. So I've clicked three, all those three. You'll see them highlighted here, um, and I'm going to click the save 
icon. So you'll, you'll see they get added. And in the, in the user manual uh, for your lighting fixture, it, may it will give you the exact ranges. So I'm going to make a change to this just to show you how to do it. So if you hover your mouse over the line break, you'll see at the moment open is, a, is from values from 0 to 85. So I'm going to drag this up because in mine, I, I'm, going to, I'm going to make a guess. I'm going to say open is from 0 to 31. Okay, and um, strobe will, be, will then be from 32, and I'm going to drag it all the way up to something like 250, and then the last value is 200, uh, sorry, 200, um, yeah, I'm going to drag it to 250, uh, and then the last range of 251 to 255 is open again. So uh, this, uh, you can see now uh, how you would create three individual ranges just for the shutter and strobe. Um, I'm also going to, you'll notice there's a tiny little dot here, and that dot means that that's the default value. Um, that's also quite important because that tells this profile uh, that uh, when it's used in something like Light Rider or My DMX Go, uh, we should, this is the default value. We want, we want uh, the, the shutter and strobe uh, to be set at, in, in this kind of open range so that uh, when we try to use this light fixture, um, uh, it's on basically it's it's uh, it's the the shutter is open and uh, the light is on okay uh, so now that's about it okay you'll see now uh, that our little green indicator is all good if I click it there are no errors uh, no warnings and we've created a, a, a now a two mode profile we've got uh, mode one which is six channels we've got mode two which is eight channels the warning triangles have gone okay because we now it these now inheriting uh, those channel values from from the main channel types that we created in the first place. Uh, so uh, we're all good to go. This is, a, as I said, this is a really simple uh, fixture, but it just kind of shows you how uh, to get started. There's quite a lot more that we'll have to cover if we start to create more complicated fixtures, um, but I will cover those in a later video. Uh, in my next video, I'm going to extend this uh, to cover lighting fixtures that have more than one light beam. So uh, for that, uh, a good example would be something like the ADJ uh, Chameleon Q-Bar Pro, Q -Bar Pro. The, uh, the Chauvet Slim Beam Quad uh, has uh, a kind of a, a three individual LED uh, look. Um, and also things like bars, which have maybe have you know four, six or eight individual LEDs that can all uh, have uh, you know, separate colors, you know, so each each LED can be a different color, and we can use things like the light rider effect within the app to create to create some really great effects with those light fixtures. Um, but that's it for now. Um, the last thing I should say is that you just need to click the back arrow. Um, that now saves your profile, um, and if you go to the uh, to your light rider um, or my DMX Go app. Um, and look at your own custom profiles by looking at the little click, tapping the little person button at the bottom of the screen um, you will see this profile appear and you'll be able to use it so there's kind of nothing you need to do to transfer it to the app um, you'll see it's there uh, ready for you to use okay so that's it for now I hope that was a useful and a kind of as an introduction to the way that we use profile builder in uh, and uh, if you've got any questions of course you can head over to the light rider my DMX go help and support Facebook group. Uh, you can pop questions in the comments below if you wish. Uh, but otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.